Hello there, hi. So Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday's trading session, the 28th of March 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app by the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so the story of the session ready again is number one: tech stocks selling off, uh, given the fact that Facebook's uh, so-called fraud of uh, manipulating, uh, obviously, user data, selling that on. After stating that he wouldn't, okay. So again, this uh, this chap, Mr. Zuckerberg, really is like a CIA spy, isn't he? I think it's it's been used for spying. Anyway, that, uh, get whatever your opinions are on that. Basically, the conclusion is that obviously you've got the crash with regards to Uber as well, uh, Nvidia are certainly selling off as well. So it's really it's a tech ra tech led around, okay. Given the fact that obviously fears or increased regulation and so on and so forth. So again, that certainly is going to hurt profits going forward in tech stocks. Therefore obviously risk off adding the fact that you've got the concerns over trade wars and protectionism okay so mr trump certainly is reaping what he's sowing now with the chinese potentially readying retaliatory measures overnight and mr uh, kim jong certainly visiting china as well certainly is a show of uh, force to the americans that really china is the, the superpower okay uh, power certainly is shifting now over to the asian side okay given the fact that their projects have certainly grown now no longer a third world or developed country certainly are in going into the first world and which in then which in turn shifts the balance of power okay we have brexit scenario here we have italian elections <coughs> uncertainty etc it certainly is a shift in the balance of power towards asia okay at present and china really is a superpower of the world at present okay america really is in trillions of dollars of debt uh, given the fact that it's scandal led by an idiot moron uh, individual uh, certainly is uh, on its demise now uh, the market's obviously going to risk reverse. S&P touching that 2600 level again. Nasdaq breaking through that 6500 at the moment. Okay. In terms of fundamentals for sort of the rest of the day, nothing really major out of uh, European markets other than the stronger German consumer confidence this morning. Again, certainly does help. Uh, French consumer confidence coming in for stronger as well. Okay. Uh, looking for UK data, CBI uh, distributed trade survey. Nothing major market moving it's really the uk us gdp numbers that are going to be market moving later on so let's see how that unfolds in terms of the technical picture you've got the german dax certainly selling off back into that double bottom and gap fill now looking to potentially bounce from here daily chart can we hold this support zone here that's the that's the question you got multiple unfilled gaps above so certainly looking to post pivoting to what higher 10 minute chart we've certainly closed the gap we've held that uh, support zone looking to potentially push higher now uh, up to 11.970 and gap fill above so watch out for support uh, for a potential move higher in terms of the uh, the french cac again you've closed the gap you've hit double bottom you've got an unfilled gap above again 10 minute chart certainly is showing double bottom 60 minute chart as well can we hold this key support zone that's the question daily chart as well as you can see we've closed the gap now the gap well, gap was around 5030 that's been closed uh, double bottom scenario again looking for european markets to rally FTSE 100 daily chart yesterday's bullish engulfing candle is uh, puts the bias towards the, uh, the higher, higher side okay so they're certainly looking for the market to move higher looking to potentially thrust back up to 7070 watch out for that okay in terms of 60 minute chart on the FTSE 100 again you put in a double bottom looking for a higher low okay we've reversed back to 61 percent now looking for the markets to put potentially push higher on the FTSE 100 10 minute chart on the FTSE you're coming back into this key resist or support zone here okay Let's see if this holds. You still have the unfilled gap at 6890, 6818, 6890 to be precise. Okay, let's see if we can close that. Alternatively, if that fails to close, then you are looking to thrust back higher to close that gap at 7000. That's my aim. That's what I'm expecting right now. And that's what my trade is positioned to as well. Okay. Uh, last but not least, Euro stocks give you an insight there as well. You've closed the gap. Okay, we've tested lows. Now looking to potentially bounce higher. That's my interpretation. That's my expectation on the Euro stocks. Looking to potentially close the gap at 3316 above. Okay, that certainly is the uh, next potential move here. Okay, so I think that's a good summation really of European indices. Uh, again, uh, Chinese, uh, obviously, uh, trade concerns, certainly uh, US, Sino trade concerns certainly are the uh, forefront at present. Okay, and let's see how the market re uh, reacts. And US GDP certainly will be market moving, especially in the currency front. Be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and download the app like the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Goodbye now.